Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and uh, right next to me is a diesel engine that I'm going to be using for my diesel electric uh, plug-in hybrid pickup truck project. I've been chipping away at this project for a while. Uh, the last video that I shot, uh, my buddy Steve stopped over, and we pulled this out and we actually got it running, which was exciting. Uh, but we also found out a couple of different things, like uh, the water pump was seized up, so we pulled that off. Um, in fact, here's the old impeller off the water pump, and uh, you can see the bearings in there are rusted up or whatever where it, it can't turn. It can only turn so far and that's it. It stops. So I did mail order the new impeller for the water pump. So that was 35 bucks. Got the brand new one right here. Spins very nice. Looks good and clean. And what I'm going to have to do is pop that into the original um, housing. So this and this are going to go together. I've already got the old gasket off there, so I'll have to put these together with the new gasket, the sealant, and uh, the bolts. And then once that's together, this entire thing mounts onto the engine up here. Um, and another thing that we found out when we pulled the engine out last week was that um, we got to get some different length bolts because originally um, there was a big bracket over here that um, it, it's it's kind of useless now. It held up some of the air conditioner stuff and everything. It was this great big, huge, heavy steel bracket with the seized up idler and, oh my God, it's heavy and giant. But um, the water pump actually connected through these here and they got some uh, thickness to them. So I uh, went to the hardware store. I got the correct metric bolts that will fit through to put the water housing back on, except that they're shorter because this hole right here, for example, goes all the way into the engine so without um without that bolt in there engine oil can actually leak out but if i use those extra long bolts it would go all the way through into the engine and i think it's the timing chain that's on the other side of that anyways i just uh you know spent a buck and a half to get uh the new correct size bolts so i'm gonna gasket this up um use the new bolts and hopefully i should have a uh, brand new water pump all set up on this mercedes diesel engine for my hybrid pickup truck project. There's the old impeller. There's the new one. And then uh, I already got the uh, old gasket off this side, uh, which is where um, this actually mounts. But on the back, I still have to scrape this off, which is uh, where it actually connects uh, into the engine block. Okay, so here is the new water pump. It's mounted on. It uh, spins freely, no problems there. Uh, these two bolts down here go around uh, the connection into the engine. Um, this over here, just uh, that's just a bolt that holds it in. Up here, this lets the air out. There's a little banjo bolt up there. I made sure to have both washers on there. Um, I installed both gaskets with a uh, Permatex tack-in seal. Uh, I just followed the directions for installing the gaskets. That's what it said to use was a tacky stuff like this. So with the new water pump on there, it gets uh, the pulley to actually make the whole thing spin with the belt. And then uh, a spacer and the uh, kind of the propeller radiator fan. But I think there's also supposed to be a uh, thermal couple on that that lets the uh, blade spin or not depending on the temperature. I don't see that, so I'll have to take a look in my pile of parts. But uh, now let's go take a look at steering. <laughs> 